Yep, we're recording. So hello, my people. We are here with a seven prime build. Now this 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 frame was bay for quite a while for me, and um, I put a lot of work into her. Um, not really that much, but okay. Um, now I have a very messy melee build, and I have a low level build, and I have my high level build. Let's go over all of these builds. Corrosive projection, why? Because we don't really need energy because of regenerative molt. Um, not regenerative. Pfft, because of rage. <laughs> we don't need energy because of rage. We're going to be getting enough energy. Well, in higher level stuff, because this is my high level build, we should be getting enough energy from rage to cover whatever we need to do. Now we have power drift, transient fortitude, and intensify to bring up our strength, which is severely dropped by overextended we also have a str uh, stretch so overextended and a stretch just so we can spread our spores a hell of a lot we have vitality for survivability and regenerative mort to heal us this will heal 500 health in 10 seconds um, we have rage as a primary source of getting energy um, continuity just to bring up our duration a smidge so it's not under a hundred percent now uh, this is my low level, my high level spore build. My low level spore build has energy siphon, so we can have energy flow, because they're really not gonna get past a shield if they're lower level. So we need energy siphon flow, so we can have a bunch of energy. Stretch of extended for a range, coaction drift. You could totally. I don't even know why I have this. I did this a long time ago. I would. Totally not have that. I drop that. Cunning drift. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, or power drift. I think I'd prefer power drift with power drift. So I'd go power drift for that. So we're gonna go power, tran power drift, transient fortitude, and intensify to bring up our power strength to 135. We have all that stuff. We got enough more just in case they do some damage. And vitality, just in case they do some damage, you could probably drop these. This is a low level build. Now, here's my melee build. I <laughs> don't even know what happened here. Um, so, efficiency isn't great, but you don't really need efficiency because whenever you pop a spore with toxic lash, you get two energy, which stacks up pretty, pretty quickly. Now, I don't really think I would ever follow this build. I do think I want to revamp this build. I just want to show it off because it's here. Um, we have. I might have already done a Steren build video too. I'm not sure. Um, I couldn't find it. We have corrosive projection just to drop enemies. Stuff. We have a whole lot of power strength because uh, we want to be, be hitting for a lot of toxic damage. Uh, power Drift, Transient Fortitude, Blind Rage for Power Strength, um, Contagion Cloud could totally be replaced, it's pretty useless, I just have it here, fuck if I know why, um, Vitality for Survivability, Streamline to bring up our efficiency, as you can see it's like 90%, um, Super Low Rage to keep our energy up, Regenerative Mort to heal ourselves, and Continuity to bring up that duration just a little bit, you could probably go higher on duration, like I said, I totally would not follow this build. Go for this one. You can um, do a different form of the rage. I was initially, uh, I was initially going for this one, but I realized how useless that was with seven. I mean, it's not useless, but I very much prefer this one. So. We have our salmon, our weapons of choice. You can use a hell of a lot of weapons for salmon. Uh, Ignis is my go-to. You could probably use this. You could, um, I don't know. I've heard a lot of people say a lot of different things. Just, just as long as it can do toxic damage um, pretty well. Hey, how Prime is what I use to pop the spores. Like I said, you can use other things like Spear Prime or... Uh, Tysis or whatever she is a very um, easy thing to use you can easily find a lot of weapons to use for her. she like you there's a lot of variety you can use on her I should say 
and either of these weapons have a very great build to them like even a little bit so this is why I'm not gonna go ahead and show these off very much because these are pretty sad little builds my serration I remember got took off so we're gonna go find that really fast bam um, don't follow this I will eventually get into an Ignis build I will also eventually get into a Hikau Prime build now the best the biggest thing with a Hikau Prime is have concealed explosives um, very important but uh other stuff. What the fuck is this, anyways? Like, where the hell is my hornet right? <laughs> what was I thinking when I made this? This is seriously so sad. <laughs> I don't know, man. I was thinking something. I don't know where the heated stuff is. Heated charge can't fit. There's a heat something I'm looking for. And it was cold. <laughs> no, I can't find it. I'm never gonna find it. Fuck my life. Uh, well, I give up. I'm looking for a heat thing. I want to make gas. Fuck, fine. It doesn't fucking matter. This is used for popping the spores. Um, now, the thing with Seven, that's good to note, is that you'll, um, you'll, uh, whatever toxic prox you put on people will spread it with the spore spread. So you're doing a lot of toxic damage rather quickly. Like I said, regenerative mole is a king healer. So you drop enemies pretty quickly, and with with this shitty of an Ignis build, that was pretty damn quick. Now we're gonna show off the Hikau. Now this is mainly the reason people use this one is to stack their spores, which is very good for stacking spores. As you can see, it kills a hell of a lot faster than my Ignis does. They are powerful as hell. But, uh, if I was paying attention, I could have survived. I wasn't. So, that's that. Let's show. Let's show. This one. This is my melee build. Well, I'm gonna just throw everything in. Um, with melee, you definitely want to have that active. And... You pop the spores, you get energy for it. As I said, it's definitely not bad. You drop enemies pretty quickly. I haven't actually tried this on super high level enemies. So we're going to try that really fast. And clear those. Let's throw one. What am I doing? I wish I could type in the number, but console, so. Please, D-E, let me type the number. <laughs> it's so annoying having to press that button a bazillion times. Corrupted Heavy Gunner, level 95. Oh, let's do this, bitch. This thing puts out a lot of damage. We're gonna make it so it won't kill us. Oh, I didn't fucking simulate. so he won't kill us we're gonna throw this on him and toxic lash and you can see we don't do a ton of damage to him but um it's really not that bad for a guy with this much i guess it might be a lot of damage <laughs> um it is okay but he, that is, I'm pretty sure the highest, at, uh, not highest, the, the enemy with the biggest health pool in the game. So you can't expect to drop it super fast. Um, 
I will show this up against these guys. I'd probably crush them pretty quickly. Yep, as you can see, crush them very quickly. And they're level 95s. So, very powerful build. I didn't actually realize the full power of this build. You're always gonna wanna have to want to not have to, but you're always gonna wanna spore the enemies first, because that'll give you a hell of a lot of more damage. Because I'm pretty sure I, I think anyways. Don't quote me on this, but I think it multiplies with your uh, stuff. Um, my low level build really isn't anything too special. It's just a slightly modified of my other build. Um, now a setup thing you can do that you might prefer flow with and this is why a lot of people do run flow is you pop one of these you spore them a few times and you can like toxic proc to spread and miasma or instead of miasma to save energy you can you can just put down another molt and it'll spread and we'll show that off really fast let's go grab my low level stuff so that I have enough energy. This isn't something I do very often. This is just whenever I have a lot of energy sitting around me. That will hit them all with spores. Now the toxic procs from your Ignis and your Miasma will go with it making it do a hell of a lot of fucking damage. Um, toxic procs, your molt does a lot of damage if you just pop it twice. This is one of my panic buttons. And then sometimes I accidentally spam molt. But besides the point you see it does pretty decent damage for something you just pop to survive it does pretty okay damage and they weren't spored so if we spore them it'll do quite a bit more easily wipes them um, now this isn't something I do because it takes a lot of energy but um, it's something to know so you don't really with the combo you could I'll just show you the combo if I do that way um, bam 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 it does and not too much damage but it does okay damage now with a built Ignis, you drop these enemies a lot faster than I am right now. Um, Ignis is one of the better ways to run her, but Hey Cow Prime is also one of the better ways to run her. It's all on preference. What gun do you want to run? Um, I guess it's not, I shouldn't say it's the better way to run her. It's just the way a lot of people use her. I re That's really just a bad statement, saying it's the better way to run her. Um, now if we want to see just how much damage that combo can put out. recording it's like 11 bam boppity boopity look buddy you really don't want to do this it really doesn't put out an insane amount of damage but it's a good way to wipe smaller enemies hack out prime isn't the best for killing one thing Look, honestly. Okay, so the best thing to do for a higher level enemy, if you have weaker things on, like I do because you're too lazy to build stuff up, is Toxic Flash. Um, you're doing more damage, it's not a ton. I should spore him. Uh, I mean, really, it's not overall and a very effective thing. Um, 
she's more of a lower level frame for me right now just because I don't have a great hangout frame but if you watch Potato he took her on a long run and um, she performed pretty well she easily got the most damage I'm pretty sure if I remember right but uh, yeah that's the build so just to recap this is my high level Siren build this is a low level Siren build and of course you don't have to be a low level Siren build you can totally just use flow if you want that's up to you that's really the only difference flow and rage totally up to you and energy siphon and curves of projection but uh swap out whatever you want um it is gonna be your build if you use this um and this is my survival melee build if you want to know puts out a lot of damage i don't think i actually tried this on a heavy gunner so we'll try it really fast ow i don't think it's gonna do it too well Okay, so this isn't like my other frames that dropped these guys in just a couple hits, like Ash, one ability, um, uh, Nova, two Tonkor hits, it's not like that. I mean, <laughs> I don't know, maybe with my Tonkor. I haven't tried it, but my Tonkor does have corrosive on it, I could try it. We'll test it really fast, I don't think it's gonna do very well. But Siren is really fun to play, and that's why I loved playing her for so long. Shit, you hurt, bro. Where did you go? Did I just fucking one-shot him? Hold on. No way. I'm just gonna call bullshit on that. I two-shotted it on my Nova. Two shots on this guy. They they hurt really bad. Okay, guys, don't blame me. <laughs> Anyways, I guess the Tonkor is a good pick for her. um Hikau Prime. I'm just I was I entered the video. I'm pretty sure saying and thinking the Ignis was better, but I think Hikau Prime outshines the Ignis. So uh, you guys saw the damage. They're both unbuilt, so. You know, you can make that assumption pretty easily with yourself. Uh, yeah, I hope this helped you, any Siren users. Now, I know it didn't do ridiculous damage. Um, that's because the weapons I was using weren't very built. Now, the Tonkor you saw that was built wrecked him very quickly. And I'm pretty sure when I did one shot to the guy, it was either the corrosive status went in effect or split chamber went in effect and it didn't the other time one of those um so if the corrosive was then that's only because i'm on seven but if it wasn't the corrosive then it was just a lucky thing but i'm pretty sure it was the corrosive that made it do that much damage so um Anything you're using with her, have a toxic proc. You know, corrosive gas or viral, I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, no. Corrosive gas, viral, and toxic, of course. You know. But, uh, toxin. But I hope this helped you guys. Um, if you want more bills, you want a specific frame, let me know. Um, it always is nice to know. I just realized I had a power strength built on when I did that. What the fuck happened? I don't give a shit. But that's okay. Have a nice day. I hope this guys help. I hope this helped you guys. Have a nice day, and peace out.